Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hey there. In this video, I want to show you how to record the payments that you would receive if you lent money to somebody else and they're repaying that money. So I'm just showing you the balance sheet for my Make Believe company. On my balance sheet, I have lent $10,000 to ABC Corp. I now want to record what it's going to look like when they make payments on that loan. So let's imagine they've made a payment and it's going to go into the bank as a deposit. I didn't set up something in bank feeds, so you can just imagine you can enter this manually like I'm about to do, or you can go to the downloaded banking and select split and create something like what I'm about to do. So we'll say that at the end of February, we got a payment. You can say that it comes from ABC Corp. I generally don't put a receive from um, because it, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't help me. Um, I'm When I lend money, it's not really a customer and it's not really a vendor. I'm going to make it a vendor uh, just because it's flip of a coin in this case. And I'm going to say they've they've paid back five hundred dollars. But let's say that four hundred and fifty of it goes to principal and fifty dollars goes to interest. This is a brand new QuickBooks file. It so happens that it has interest earned on the list. If it didn't have an interest earned or an interest income account, I would go ahead and add one to QuickBooks online. One thing that you really want, and it's kind of hard to see when I hover, but you want it to show that it's an income account, not an expense account. I personally prefer to have it as an other income. The difference is when you look at the profit and loss, the income accounts are on the top, then there's expenses, and then at the very bottom are the other income. I want to be able to see what is the money that I earn by doing the thing that I do, and what's the other money that happens to come in? Stuff like interest income. I want to see that, but I want to see it on the bottom. I don't want it to be up there with the essentially my hard work money. I'm just going to put over here $50. What this is doing is this is saying $500 goes into the bank. It's going into checking one, two, three. That's taking place on the end of February. I'm allocating the $500 is some money to this loan where I've lent money and some money to interest earned where I've earned interest. Let me go ahead and save this and I'll show you what it looks like on the reports. When I look at the balance sheet, you can see the loan. It's now smaller than it was. Let me just navigate over to the profit and loss and you can see the income for that. So 2124, 22824. And then down here, interest earned $50. I arbitrarily picked $50. If you're lending money to people, I strongly recommend you have an agreement that says, I'm lending you this money. These are the repayment terms. This is the interest and this is how the interest is calculated. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have questions or video suggestions, let us know in the comments. If you want to learn more about bookkeeping, I offer courses as well as one-on-one -on -one training. If you're tired of doing your own bookkeeping, my team member Megan and I are happy to help you out with your bookkeeping. Feel free to reach out to us. Thanks and have a great day.